Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Ambitions Part 22, I think this is. So, in the last part, we left off, and Charlie had just joined the investigator career. He left his job as a ghost hunter, and uh, so he's no longer a ghostbuster, which is kind of sad, but still, he had done it, and I just thought, you know what? It's time to change things up a little bit. So he has now become the town gossip, I guess you could say, and he is now an eavesdropper. However, some of you gave really helpful insight in the last part. You um, like commented what would help Charlie in his career and earn more simoleons and stuff like that, which I love you guys doing. Um, I usually always have brain farts when I'm recording. I'm like, probably should have done that, but then completely forget about it. So the perceptive trait did come with ambitions. And this was actually Elizabeth who said this. She said, for the investigator pro uh, profession, you are going to want the perceptive trait and also the computer whiz trait may help. So um, we can actually, uh, he has enough lifetime happiness to actually use the, uh, what is it, the life, the midlife crisis thing. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so accurate with my descriptions right now. He can use the midlife crisis. So we are going to purchase this and we are going to change our traits. So he's currently eccentric, a genius. He dislikes children. He's adventurous and he's a mooch. So I want to get rid of eccentric because that really doesn't help him all that much in any of his work. So now that we have got rid of a sec of eccentric we kind of need to get rid of another trait so i think i might just get rid of dislikes children he can still dislike children without the dislike children trait so we are actually going to get the perceptive trait which says perceptive sims make keen investigators their ability to investigate and stake out potential criminals is bar none perceptive sims will benefit from a business degree in the university but we're not going to university and we also want computer whiz wherever that may be here it is so we are gonna go for this as well because he can hack well if he's complete computer whiz so that is what we are doing for charlie so he has now done that and he is oh okay i just installed story progression so i'm gonna get probably a crap ton of stuff telling me about story progression. Sorry about that guys, story progression was just sorting itself out. But Charlie is currently on his way to report his findings to this young chap right here. Basically this chap, Clark, had thought that people were actually uh, coming into his house and stepping on his toes, which is really flipping weird to think. But he was actually just sleepwalking and stubbing all his toes and Charlie found this out. So uh, we're about to tell him that he's a bit of a he's a bit of an idiot. Clark Peddler wasn't surprised to hear about talk what? What did he just do? He wasn't surprised to hear about kicking the gnome while sleepwalking. Doesn't change the fact that I was surprised by it all. The gnome is going to be padded to preserve Clark's toes. I'm going to take my feet and look for my next case. So he has earned some job experience and 650 simoleons, which is pretty good actually. Um, so let's look at his job experience. He, he has quite a lot. Uh, I think we're going to do another stake out though. And um, his logic skill like is insane. So... Maybe we should just work on our logic skill because he actually wants to become level 10 of that. So uh, where's our logic book? Why don't you just sit in the bar and read that? That's He looks like an investigator in his little outfit. It's so cute. I love him. He looks so like professional. Ray is currently working out. She is actually on the job. Um, she's on the clock right now, but she works from home. What is wrong with you, Leonard? Why are you going crazy? Sorry about that, guys. So, yeah, Leonard's going crazy for some reason. I don't even know what he's doing. But Ray is actually working from home. She's just currently working on her athletic skill. And look at these two cuties in their little art room. Uh, Eva is currently working on a wooden sculpture. And it looks like a sim of some sort. It looks like one of those ancient Greek sims, which I've never actually seen done in wood. But still, she's doing that. And he is currently working on this piece right here. Don't think he has work today. No, he has the day off. So he's just kind of chilling out. We should, um, 
We should probably have him work on his table a little bit. I just thought that had moved by itself, but it was Eva turning it round. Holy crap, that scared the hell out of me. Um, we are actually gonna have uh, Leonard go and search for some scrap, I think. So he can head over to the junkyard over here and dig through all these piles of scrap for me. Um, because he's not got anything better to do, so he's just gonna go do that. Uh, before you actually start, why don't you use the toilet? Because apparently you really need it. Um, so go use this, and then... Oh, Bo just completed a painting valued at 410 simoleons. That's insane. I can't believe it's worth that much. Bo, you can continue doing that, my friend. Oh, Leonard just took Ray's car. Ray's fire engine. I think we need to use um, the car that Eva actually stole because honestly everyone just uses the fire engine and that is not okay because when there's an emergency she's gonna actually need it at some point. Um, Bo, why don't you go and continue this sketch and Charlie has been promoted. He is conferred the title of small claims investigator. Unpaid debts and prodig property damage may not make a splash in the headlines but hard work and honest investigating will get the job done with your magnifying glass no clue will be too small so get out there and start hunting for your next lead charlie piper has received a magnifying glass to snoop for clues with and it's in his personal inventory and he now makes 408 simoleons that's awesome. So Charlie's already a level two of the investigator career. So he's definitely going to continue moving on up, hopefully. In time, he'll do well, I'm sure. We should probably take the uh, the woo-woo out of his inventory and put it back where it belongs so that if Ray does get a call, then she can just go to it because um, we don't want her missing emergencies and stuff like that. Eva, why is this taking you so long to do? Like, she's been working on this for so long now. Just, come on, girl. I want her to do a stone one as well, because she wants to um, make a stone one for 2,000. And she just got invited to a party. Ooh, whose party were we invited to? Alma Drills. It's at 7.30 and it's swimwear. Uh, yeah, sure, we'll be there. Hopefully she'll have a computer that we can steal because we do need a computer and I kind of want Eva to swipe one. I don't want to pay money for a computer basically because we are running low. Well, not low, but lower than I'd like to be and why pay for one when you could just steal one? Don't live by that rule. That is a... I should not have said that. That was naughty me. <laughs> Never live by that rule. Only in The Sims because it's not real and... It's fine. <laughs> but um, Ray is still working on her athletic, which is cool. I actually asked you guys in the last part whether you wanted me to change Ray's uh, job once she had... Oh, there we go. Emergency, 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 emergency. We are going to uh, go put out the large house fire. Um, and I said a teacher and a lot of you were like... Uh, such as Abby, you were like, don't change Ray's job until she completed her aspiration. Don't worry, she will save uh, 30 sims. She's currently on 6 out of 30. That alarm is so annoying. But don't worry, we will definitely continue until she does her lifetime wish. She's going to go um, sort this large house fire out now, so we'll follow her here. Oh, this is a really nice house as well. It looks like, looks like the White House. If it loaded, though, then we could see where the fire was. Oh, game! Story progression is making my game a little laggy. I didn't think it would, but it has. Let me put these up. Okay. Let's go extinguish all of these flames over here. Come on, Ray. Ray, where are you going? Get back here, you little loser. She was just like, oh, well, I saw the fire, and I just decided to drive off. <laughs> Um, I was tampering with my electronics when the static electricity caused a huge explosion. Save my home, I beg you. Okay, don't worry. We've got this. Ray, extinguish the freaking flames, girl. She just stood there doing nothing. Here we go. She's hopefully going to do well on this. We need to free all the trap sims. I swear this guy is everywhere. 
This isn't even his home. I know what his home is, and this is not it. Ray, you don't brush your teeth. Are you an idiot? What are you doing? Go and convince Goodwin to run. This isn't Goodwin's house either. Uh, why? Why is everyone here who doesn't live here? We're gonna convince Clark to run. <laughs> Do we convince that to run? No. And let's break down this door. So she saved Goodwin. Now time to save um, Pansy Prudence and also Clark. So here we go. We're gonna do it. Come on, get out the house, Clark. Stop being a drama king. Oh, okay. So apparently, that's uh, that we just did it. <laughs> we didn't even have to break this door down. We just did it, which is awesome. So she's gonna head home. That's so good. Like, we barely had to do anything. Charlie, you can head home too, because you need to get your hunger up and stuff. Um, oh, Buck Green and Cat Hunter have broken up with each other. Oh, that's actually quite sad. That's not made me very happy. Um, I will probably turn off story progression, though, for this Let's Play. This I actually installed this due to um, Generations coming back, and a lot of you said you wanted it. Um, but I think I might turn it off for this, because it seems to just be lagging my game. Uh, apparently, we can put these in our family inventory, but I don't think we can. I really don't think we can. Because I want to sell it, but I don't think we can, which is quite annoying. Can we put it in her inventory? No. Okay, we're just going to sell it for 442 simoleons, which is pretty good, actually. Um, yeah, that's really good. You should probably, Ray, you can use this toilet. And then you can um, serve some... What should we have for dinner? Maybe some goopy carbonara. Sure, we'll talk to Marigold. Why not? And Leonard has found the exic... Exi what? E I can't say this word. Exquisite bistro chair by... Yeah, who would throw that away? So he's still looking for scrap, bless him. I completely forgot about that. The case of the hacker elite. Patina Knack wants to hire me to do some cyber war warfare. Ideally, this will be a big case involving data theft and privacy. Though I'm sure it's just a forum quibble, quibble I need to set. I should interview Patina Knack for the details. Okay, cool, we can do that. But first we need to eat. So have some leftover sushi. And uh, then you can use this. And Eva, what is wrong with you? You were freaking out. Why don't you go eat some leftover anchovy sushi rolls? And Ray's about to make dinner. Where's Bo? Oh, he's still talking to Marigold. Why don't you take a quick shower, Bo? <laughs> That's fine. You can do that. And he should probably come home. You can stop digging through all of that. So yeah, Leonard's on his way back home now too. Ray is so stinky. She's been on a job and she was working out all day. She should probably take a shower. <laughs> She's so gross. We're going to take a shower down here. And these two are just eating something. What time does that party start again? Was it half seven? Maybe we'll have Charlie head on over to the party. Uh, he's going to use the bathroom first though. And then we'll head on over to the party and um, we will... What will we do? We'll get him to know some more people, if you know what I'm saying. Because um, I definitely want that to happen. He wants to con he wants to conduct so many stakeouts, it's unreal. So come on, let's head on over to this party. We might have Bo head on over to the party as well. We're going to go attend it. Or is it not going on? Is it one of those parties that isn't actually a party? Because I, I hate those things. I don't think there is a party going on. There's a party going on. Um, nope, that's the racket household. I think she's cancelled a party, which is annoying, because I really wanted to go to a party today. But apparently no one's holding one. People suck. Why are people so shallow in this game? Like, they'll be like, hey, come to my party, and then they won't have one. It's like, seriously? You guys all hyped up for nothing. Like, at all. Where is she off to i have no idea but we're not gonna interview her tonight charlie's really tired so he's probably just gonna chill out and go to sleep how's everyone else doing though um these two are just having a nice chat oh 
either you actually need the loo so go use the toilet and then you can actually start a stone sculpture and you mister can grab a plate of this calm down I don't know why everyone's stressing in this house they're all just like yelling at each other <laughs> it's really weird I'm not used to it let's put that away and Ray sorry about that guys story progression was actually draining my computer so I just turned it off because I can't be bothered with it in this let's play um Ray uh, Eva Ray actually really needs to pee so can you not shoo her out of the bathroom <laughs> go and uh take a shower Ray and Eva's starting on her stone sculpture so let's see how this goes oh this is gonna look fancy I think she's doing it in marble which is really like that's that's high up we also need to sell those maybe we can sell this in the uh in the consignment store so we're also gonna give ray's uh eva's things to him i'm getting ray and eva mixed up like a lot we're gonna put that in his inventory as well and what we are going to do probably tomorrow is we'll have Bo actually go to the consignment store and put all the things for sale so that they can get a bit more money for them than they would just selling them in their inventory and um, why don't you go to sleep bud how are you he's gonna go eat from his bowl oh I completely forgot that slinky was even alive uh, Ray you can go fee fill slinky's bowl and Leonard where are you why don't you go and sleep that's your bed bud this is your room you have your own room you can thank me later, but he does have his own room, which is really cute. And then you can go to sleep, Ray, and I guess we'll just stay up with Eva for a little bit while she's she's working on this sculpture right here. Hopefully, it'll be a really good sculpture. It's going to take a while, though. Stone sculptures sense, uh, take a lot of time. Hey, thanks again for helping in a time of emergency. You're a real pro. Ah, Oh, no, Marigold... Marigold passed on. That's so sad. Oh, she did it. That really didn't take as long as I was expecting it to take. But Marigold died. That's so sad. Eva Cole has sculptured a brilliant gator in stone. It's worth 2,000 simoleons. Holy man, that's insane. What? 2,000 simoleons. We are about to sell you. We are going to sell for 2,000 simoleons. What? So we... Where did that money come from? Where did two... Was that raise? The, guys, we are going to earn money so easy in this Let's Play. I was freaking out. I was like, oh my god, we're broke. We're not going to have money for ages. We are on it. We have so much money and it's just going to keep on getting better. With Ray at the top of her career, she earns loads for hanging uh, for handling like every situation she gets called to. And Eva is awesome at sculpting, so why wouldn't she earn a lot? She's almost a level 10 in sculpting, which is insane. So that means we're definitely going to have to start focusing on her inventing a little bit more and also her art because she does want to master the painting skill too. But I think I'm going to skip through this part and I'll be back with you guys in the morning. So guys, it's now the morning. I have no idea why Ray is running everywhere. Like, she's like, oh my god, I need to make breakfast and just like sprints out of bed. I have no idea why she's doing that. Probably because the game still thinks she's on an emergency or something. But she's literally sprinting everywhere. Or maybe it's just because she's athletic. I have no clue, but it's quite entertaining to watch. Um, she just looks like she's like in an emergency in every situation. Like, oh my god, Charlie's hungry. Let me go make him breakfast. And like sprints downstairs, like Baywatch style. Um, Charlie and Bo are actually awake too. Um, Bo does in fact have work today, so he starts working like five hours. So uh, Ray's just making breakfast for everyone. What are you up to, buddy? What are you reading on there? He's reading Plaque and pest Pestilence, I think. So uh, that's fair enough. Where's Bo actually? What's he up to? You should probably take this sketch and also start researching some more fashion concepts I guess whilst Ray's just making breakfast she should be finished quite soon though don't do that uh, research new fashion concepts and Ray how's breakfast going 
Dobby's just here like, please send me, please make some for me, please. He actually really needs some attention. Uh, why don't you go eat that off the floor? It's probably, um, he's already eaten some. I can't tell if this is puke or food, but it's absolutely disgusting. Like, he's eating that. Like, he's such a piggy. Oh, and he's feeling lonely. That means we're definitely going to have to have Ray um, do something about that. Why don't you come grab a plate? And Charlie, you, you can also grab a plate. Eva's still asleep because she went to bed quite late because Dobby was sleeping on her bed and literally wouldn't move. So, um, oh, yeah, see, he's about to become Piggy. <laughs> That's actually quite cute, though. I quite like Piggy dogs. Um, go eat this off the floor, I guess, as well, because you're disgusting and no judgment, but you're disgusting. <laughs> and then, Ray, once you've done that, you should... Why don't you talk to him and give him a smoochie? And then you can also uh, rub his belly. Oh, he's so cute. I love the friendship that him and Ray have. Stop eating off the floor. He's so going to become a piggy. He really is. Anytime soon, he's going to be a piggy wiggy. Um, and he currently has so many toys out. I don't know what he is even doing. Why are there so many puddles up here? Can you actually come and mop up these puddles for us, Leonard? And then you can also use this and you need to eat some scrap. So eat a piece of that. And we also need to give some of that scrap to Eva so she can continue inventing. Bo, what I want you to do is before work starts for you and you have to go on call, I want you to actually head on over to the consignment shop and sell all the stuff that we created. So I don't know if we can... Um, I think we probably can sell sketches. If we can, then that just means more simoleons for us. Not like we need it, but it's always a good thing to have, right? Just extra pocket money, I always say, for the rainy days. Um, so yeah, he's going to go do that and try and sell some things. It's really annoying how they all take the woo-woo. I'm going to have to like make a driveway here and put the um, car that we stole from Goodwin. We're going to have to put that on our drive so that... Uh, Ray can just use the th the fire engine and everyone else can just use the car because it's getting annoying. She's playing catch with Eva. <laughs> okay, you can do that. How's Dobby? Um, his social's gone up a bit. Charlie, why don't you go interview this woman that you needed to interview for her hacker scandal? Go do that. Oh, and we have bills. Ray, why don't you actually pay these bills? And Mr. How are you doing? He's doing great. Why why are you why are you choking? <laughs> Go clean this, because it's disgusting. That's probably what he was almost vomiting at actually. And Charlie's going over to interview. I wanna go over to Bo though, actually. So Bo, is anyone actually oh, they've not even started working yet. Seriously, when does this actually open? Because we're here super early and like no one is here. Oh, there's some Easter eggs. We're going to pick up the festival eggs. Why are festival eggs on this lot? Where's the festival? Oh, it's like right across the road. <laughs> Weird. We should probably go to the Love Day Festival. I kind of want someone to become the uh, spring dance queen. Maybe Eva. I can imagine Eva like dancing in the rain all hippie like like... I love everything about the earth. <laughs> I can really imagine that. She's currently painting though. Um, but she needs to get ready for the day. So why don't you go eat some leftover pancakes. And then you can use this and take a quick shower. And then head on over to the spring spring festival maybe but i'm actually gonna end this part here guys i apologize that it was so laggy in the beginning a little bit um, story progression i was actually just testing it out but i don't think i'm gonna be able to use it because it just lags down my game and i don't know about you guys but i don't want to watch a laggy game and i don't want to record a laggy game so i do apologize for the little bit of lag that we had at the beginning but once I turned it off, it seemed to be running perfectly fine. But in the next part, we will have Eva definitely go over to the Love Day Festival and, like, 
be a hippie and dance in the rain and stuff like that. I think I think that's just the type of person Eva is. And also Bo will be selling those things and Charlie will probably do some more stakeouts. So thank you all so much for watching this part. If you liked it, please do give it a big thumbs up and leave all of your comments and suggestions down below. Speaking about that, um, Rainbow Gal actually said, can you dye Eva's hair again and probably in the next part we will we'll have Bo kind of change her up again I don't know what color to go for though I was thinking like maybe like a fiery orange because we've kind of gone for the blues and the purples so maybe something like really bold like fiery orange and red I think that could look quite cool on Eva but you guys should let me know what color you would like her hair for the next few parts and also Rory said Poor Eva. Molly, imagine you're in your dorm or house at uni and one of your roommates has a fire alarm that goes off multiple times. Number one, Ray's fire alarm does only go off during the day. Like when she's on work hours, it does only go off then. Number two, I actually have to put up with that because our fire alarm was running out of battery the other week and it kept beeping constantly and our landlords didn't come around to fix it. So I know how that feels, Rory. And yes, I feel sorry for Eva, but it's one thing that she's gonna have to put up with if she wants to live with Ray. <laughs> so thank you all so much for watching. Do leave your comments and suggestions down below and I will speak to you all in my next video. Bye guys!